Hi, everybody. Today for Sunday Fun Day, we're going to see how I draw a lie detective. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can cl click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, explanation time. Lie detective. I'm explaining it by I'm making it up 100%. But I will say this. I'm, play, I'm using it to play on words of a lie detector. So, that's it. I just I just change it to from detective, from detector to detective, and say I'm gonna make some kind of detective, robot detective, because I like the idea of the lie detector machine, and that uh, that's what this guy does. He's, he's uh, a machine that uh, uh, can come up to you and see whether you're lying or not. It's that simple. So, if nothing else, it's just a fun exercise of just drawing, or getting creative with the character. And so I want I want him to have like a coat, like a detective's coat. But not all the way. I almost want it like a short coat. So let's let's do it like this, like that, and then we're gonna hang down the, the straps to close it something like that other than that, I mean, it's just going to be some kind of robot, you know, some kind of machine that does all the work. And I'm, I'm wrinkling. I've got his like his his got his his um, sleeves all pushed back, so I'm really going to wrinkle him up and uh, make some some I don't know something. Oh, but again, the, the other thing is, you know, this is 100% made up, so there is no such thing as a lie detective. So, I'm just going to say, well then, he's got this to go by. And we're going to say that his hand is kind of like a, a microphone, and it reads this, and that's how it senses whether you're lying or not so like he points his hand right at you you know so that's why I just I just kind of came up with where does where is this gonna go what's what's on his on his hand um, let's see I just had an idea I kind of want the paper readout coming out of his chest. <laughs> That's funny to me. Okay, so for his head, I just want to do some kind of, do a bunch of wires and stuff, but some kind of like, um, um, almost like a reader, like a, um, you know, the little needle that moves back and forth? That's what's going to be happening here. Let's see, so it starts... that right and then other than that I don't know let's just build something let's just say he's got some parts that uh, uh, require antennas and, and features and and, and that kind of stuff that's it that that crazy, right? Wait, 
what should we do for his legs? Should we give him pants? I almost want to do that. I almost like like kind of we want to dress him up like he's a normal person. Let's just do that. Just give him some regular old pants. Because again, he he thinks he's working for the force, you know. But we'll give him some kind of robotic feet. Like he doesn't need shoes. But he does wear pants. Ooh, let's do this too. Let's see if I can do this. I thought of like, let's give him a tie, but it's a tiny tie. Like it doesn't, it doesn't cover the. <laughs> I like that. A tiny tie. He still feels like he fits in with his tie, but uh, it, it can't mess up with the uh, the the feeder that's coming out to tell whether it's lying or not. Okay, I'm good with that. I think that's a good sketch. Um, I say we we. Uh, erase some of these sketch lines and get going. Now what I normally do is I like to uh, throw the basic lines down first. Those are my sketch lines. I'm just trying to get the positioning, the placement, and the proportions. Once I'm comfortable with that and I, still, I feel more confident to press harder, I do. I start pressing harder. So what I want my, my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil. So I lightly erase like this and the sketch line disappear pretty fast because I didn't press very hard. The confidence lines, because I press harder, I'm not pressing as hard as the eraser and it doesn't erase as easily. So, essentially, I'm getting rid of the sketchiness and keeping the confidence. And that's how you live your life and do wonderful things. Alright, I believe in you. You can do this. Alright? So I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the sharp portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. If you want to see more Sunday Fun Day, check out that playlist there. Or just check out the playlist in general because I do so many things that I may have already drawn what you're looking for. So check it out. If not, give me a request and I'll see what we can do. And I'm just going to jump in with the Sharpie pen. I'm sorry, the Sharpie fine point. Because a lot of times I do the pen for the details of the face. Well, this guy doesn't have a face. He's a, a lie detecting robot, right? So, let's draw the screen. Something like this. And don't worry if it's not a perfect square. Mine's not going to be a perfect square. And I am perfectly fine with that. I'm going to try, but it, it's okay. I'm not stressed about how perfect this thing is. And now I'm just going to add extra stuff on here. I don't know what any of this is. We are just adding like robot parts for his lie detecting uh, design, right? I do have him kind of turn just slightly. So I'm going to turn this little circular piston thing on the side of his head just a little bit. add a little bit of detail and this is what I bring this in for just a little bit of detail just to kind of mix up the thickness of the lines you know just to kind of vary it okay close this off to that I'm gonna raise up the top of his head it's almost like an old TV head a long time ago hear me out I'm an old man a long time ago TVs used to be I mean fat like really deep because it was a tube and it wasn't that long ago, honestly. So I say a long time ago, but it's, it's crazy where technology has gone. Um, and okay, so for his his uh, lie detecting part, uh, I want it to be like here's the uh, what do you call it? The the needle. And it's going to go like this and then we're going to zigzag it right and that's the lie detecting part right it goes up and reads from there 
I want to add like some cables and, and wires and stuff like that. So let me do that now before I get too crazy. Because like I said, I know, I know what I want him to do. By my sketch, I know where it's gonna go. So I kind of want to add a little extra just to make it like, well, it's it's kind of a, a big, bulky, wiry mess. You know, some of the stuff we can't control. Like it takes it takes this many wires to make them work. That kind of thing. But like I said, I've got him going into a shirt, so let's do that shirt real fast. Because I, I knew where it was going to go, that's why I was kind of stopping the sketch. Now I can build off of this. So there you go, big, big, big bunch of crazy wires that are holding his neck up. Okay. So yes, uh, he's wearing a collared shirt, so let me open that up like that so my idea well no never mind I was about to tell you the idea of him but you know what no I've already done that in the sketch portion if you want to know why he's a line detective or what a line detective is go check that out I don't want to bore everybody who's already sat through that you don't have to hear it twice okay so let me draw his coat let's see I'm gonna draw his his collar this sorry my phone was ringing and let me do the edges too so it can give us some start stop points for his uh, um, inside that simple because it's just a coat hanging down right and uh, again he's got it's, it's like a trench coat, because that's what I thought of for a detective. Like that. Now, <laughs> okay, I'll wait to draw the inside. Let's just draw, let's draw his shoulders. So I got his shoulders kind of down like this. And I'm not too worried about whether it's perfectly human shoulders. It's like, you know, he's a robot, so he might be a little slumped. He might be a little skinnier, you know? Uh, but it is a, a trench coat, so I'm going to draw some lines up like this the sleeves coming down here oh and also his sleeves are bunched up too so it's gonna get super wrinkly let me go ahead and just do it to say that this is how wrinkled his sleeves are right now add some some wrinkles and lines creases and folds I'll do more in a second Let's just do it now. I don't know why I'm waiting. I was gonna say, let me do the other side first, but yeah, let's just do it. Why, why wait? Let's see if I want to do a crease right there. I want to do, I'm trying to think it through too, so at least I make it look close to regular. Like if it's all wrinkled up, where would these lines be going? what's in where you know what I mean because I want it I want it all bunched up I want it all pushed because it's a regular sleeve but he pushes it way back for um, his his uh, his use for his arms let's go ahead and just draw the coat here so I've got it again like a trench coat so that means it's got like this weird strap thing in the middle I, I don't know I don't I haven't seen a trench coat in a long time but I just know that it's got a strap and a buckle on one side they're weird things so then I'm gonna bring it through here like this wrap it up a few times Come back up here like that. I've got it kind of branched down at the bottom. I just kind of had this idea of almost like a, almost like a skirt, you know, just to wrinkle it up. 
let's do the coat and then I'll do the hands. That way you get a feel for the entire thing. So, same thing, this one's hanging down, but this is gonna have the buckle on the end. So, I'm just gonna do something like this. Um, let's see, the buckle is on this side, or the, the, what do you call it, the little, the hinge thing. The, what's the point inside the buckle? The little thing that you put through the hole and then, you know, that thing. I said many times I am not a speaker. Same thing, gonna just bring it out into my skirt look. Creases and folds. Perfect. I want to do more here, but I guess I should actually finish up the arm before I start adding all the, the wrinkles for that part of the code, right? And here it's just a robot hand. This is the one that's the lie detective hand. So again, wrinkles up. This one's more facing you, more foreshortened, so you don't see as many. It's more pointed at you, you know? So I'm gonna bring it up to about right there. Then I'll do some more in there. So see, we'll say that it's it's so pointed at you, you can't really see all the folds anyway. All right, so again, this one's pointed right at you. This one's pointed off to the side. So let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna say some kind of robotic something. And just a hand up like that. So nothing too crazy, just a, you know, a simple robot hand like we do. I decided to bend the fingers at the end like that. I said, yeah, let's mix it up. Let's just change it just a little bit. So it's not exactly the same. There we go. That way we got it just a little bit different. So it's not just a hand doing this. We're, we're a little a little more dynamic like this. A little more challenging. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to do the middle, but nope, let's go and finish this hand. And this hand, that's the, the lie detecting part. That's the part that it's who knows what it is. But that's the one, that's the part that works all the wonders, works all the magic. And so let's draw the kind of a hand. It's based on a hand, but I thought, well, let's let's mix it up. Let's say that if it's if this is almost like a microphone, like what he points at you, let's say it's based on a hand, but it's not. Right? Like we're not even gonna put the same amount of digits because it's just that crazy of a I almost wanted to say weapon, but it's not a weapon, and that crazy of a uh, tool. A little corn dog on his finger there. 
again, I just it's trying to make something different. Like that's what he points at you. That's what he uses to detect lies. So do this. Right? Something a little, a little scary, a little, what do you do with that? You know, who knows? Who knows how any of this works? And that's kind of the fun of it. It's like, yeah, we get to decide. We get to say, well, this goes here. This is part of that. And this is where we know you are a dirty, dirty liar. There we go. Awesome. I like that. Almost like a smaller one. Why? Don't know. <laughs> Almost got like a radar dish on his finger right here. Something like that. So there, that's the, the lie detecting part, right? Oh, let me do this. So the idea I had was that not only uh, is he a lie detector, well, the paper comes out, you know? So we've got to draw the paper dispenser. Like this. And then I'm just going to draw what's coming out. And so I guess we can kind of do like it's got like that, right? That's that's reading the, the lie. Cool. Okay, so now uh, pants. So we're gonna give them a shirt, close it off like that. You can't really see much behind all this anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. So we're just gonna kind of Say that the shirt's wrinkled up in there like this, and that's it. I'm not even going to worry about a belt. I'm just going to draw basically his pants. And so um, you can't even see his legs, so we're just going to kind of close off the uh, um, uh, jacket. Well, I guess you can kind of see this leg, so we'll just draw up to here like that. This one is coming back here like that. Can't even see his crotch or any of that stuff because of the paper. So we're kind of getting away with drawing less lines here. but I do want to do some wrinkles, like there's material back there. And now I'm just drawing pants to uh, robot feet. And I'm following anatomy, or following my sketch, and drawing just roughly pants. Right? Same thing over here. Uh, same thing, just draw a couple of wrinkles just to show that there's, you know, some, some bagginess in the pants. Maybe we'll draw a little bit of the knee right there. You can't really see anything over there, so I'm not worried about it. And now just some kind of like robotic feet. So there, here there's no rule. There is no, you know, robotic feet like we always do. You just draw some parts and then we're going to connect it all you know it's like it, it there is no it's supposed to be like this you know who because who knows what any of this is it's just what fits and that's why he doesn't wear shoes because he can't really fit anything over these gigantic metal tootsies
So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So for Sunday Fun Day, that is a lie detective. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.